Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and I hope you all had a wonderful festive week. In this episode, we will look at a mini succulent arrangement called succulents in a box. For this, you can use any tin container like this. So this one was a gum container and I'm going to convert this into a planter. Now first, you have to make holes in it. So a simple trick is to just use a nail and a hammer and I did not have the hammer handy at that time so I used this pestle instead. So you see this, I created a starting point and you can already see the hole clearly. So just work on that. it's easier just be careful that's it and we have a hole a very small hole but then we can create three more or rather two more and I ended up with not just one but three holes. Before embarking on this I also tried burning the knife and puncturing holes in this but it turned out to be a damp squib. And playing with fire is dangerous too so don't try this at home. So I've made three holes and that is enough. So I'm using this uh, so that the potting mix does not spill and make a mess of this place. So we will be using a well draining potting mix. So a mixture of cocoa peat and a compost would do. So you don't have to layer it with drainage stones or anything of that sort. You can directly add the potting media. So I'm using a mix of just compost and cocoa peat. So you can just layer it like this. So make sure that it does not come out of the container. So it has to just be a little below the rim, that is it. So all the chunks that you find inside, you can just remove that. We just need a smooth mixture. So remove all that. Cocoa bark chunks. So once that is done, so I have taken some random succulent cuttings and leaf propagated ones too that are very tiny and apt for such arrangements. The names are not really important because you can use any succulent you want for such succulents. You know, keep the root intact or then cut the entire thing. Now this will be my centerpiece. And this will go around it. So you can add the sedum. Okay. We'll add this. The periphery. We can add these tiny ones. So just to disrupt the arrangement a little, I'm adding a non-succulent, the turtle wine pink lady. This will add that much needed color element in the succulent box. You can add some trailing elements like this string of tears as well or pearls if you want. And with this, the succulent arrangement is done and we can now water this. So you can use the capillary action to your advantage and add water to a pan like this and place the container inside and let the potting media soak the water. Or you could in the first instance spray some water overhead like this. So some of you may have apprehensions about doing this and one person even called me an idiot for doing this. So let me tell you that you can do it for the first time only and if given the right sunlight condition, overhead watering of succulents is no big deal. 
Just allow it to dry thoroughly between watching. It is always the method that is problematic, not the intention. Now, place the whole arrangement in a sunny balcony area that is sheltered from full sunlight. And once you see new growth, you can bring the planter indoors and enjoy your box full of succulent happiness. And with this, we have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this cute little arrangement. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Also, do show some love to my new Goa blog on my other channel called Urbanscape Lifestyle. The link of the video is given above. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.